Welcome to the lecture of matrices and arrays in MATLAB. In this lecture, we will learn some general MATLAB functions which are used for some very common matrix operations. These operations include creating and combining matrices, how to create grids, determine the size, shape and order of matrices, reshape and rearrange matrices, and at the last, we will discuss how to index matrices and arrays. Before starting our lecture, please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon to get notifications about our new lectures. Matrices and arrays are the fundamental representation of information and data in MATLAB. You can create common arrays, grids, combine existing arrays, manipulate an array's shape and content, and use indexing to access array elements. There are several MATLAB functions available for some common arrays and grids. So let's start this lecture with some common MATLAB functions used for creating and combining of matrices. Zeros that create an array of zeros. Ones that create an array of all ones. Rand that creates an array of uniformly distributed random numbers. True that creates logical ones. False that creates logical zeros. I that creates identity matrix. DIAG that creates a diagonal matrix out of a vector. Block diagonal that creates a block diagonal matrix from more than one matrices of different sizes. A was a 3 cross 3 matrix of zeros. B was 2 cross 2 matrix of ones. And C was a random matrix of 2 cross 2. The cat command concatenates two or more than two matrices in a specific dimension of same sizes. Concatenating B and C side by side to each other. This command is used to repeat each of the element of a specific vector into a new vector. For example, repeating each element of this vector three times. This command repeats copies of the whole array. For example, repeating the array C two times in each direction. Now, some functions for grids. Instead of using the complex method of matrices and arrays to create a grid, some specific commands are also available for this purpose. The command line space returns a row vector of, of evenly spaced points between the two given points. For example, creating a row vector of 100 evenly spaced points in the interval from minus 5 to plus 5. Or creating evenly spaced row vector between the interval of minus 5 to plus 5 of 11 elements. Similarly, log space generates a row vector of logarithmically spaced points between the two given logarithmic points. For example, create a vector of 7 logarithmically spaced points in the interval of 10 to the power 1 till 10 to the power 5. Mesh grid returns 2D grid coordinates based on the coordinates contained in the input vectors. For example, creating a mesh grid using the coordinates given in X and Y. Some very commonly used functions to determine size, shape and order of matrices. Some important commands are also available to determine the size, shape and order of matrices and arrays. Length command gives us the length of the largest array dimension. Size command gives us the actual rows and columns of that matrix. This command gives us the number of array dimensions. This command returns the number of elements in an array. Similarly, isScalar command determines whether the input is scalar or vector. isSorted command determines whether the array is sorted or not. isMatrix command returns logical one if the input is a matrix. isRow command determines whether the input is a row vector or not. Is empty command determines whether the array is empty or not. Now some functions to reshape and rearrange matrices will be discussed. There are some commands available to reshape and rearrange matrices and arrays. Some of the commands are sort command sorts array elements in ascending order. Flip command flips the order of elements. This command rotates array counterclockwise by 90 degrees. Transpose command finds out the transpose of that matrix. Reshape command 
reshapes a vector or matrix using the size vector to define the new size of input array or matrix. In the last part, we are now going to discuss how to index matrices in MATLAB. For indexing, colon is one of the most useful operators in MATLAB. It can create vectors, subscript arrays, and specifier for iterations as well. For example, creating a vector from 1 to 10 with the difference of 2. Colon is also used to index the elements of an array or matrix. For example, the first row and all the columns of B, or first row and the columns between 2 and 4 of A, and is used to indicate the last index of an array or matrix. For example, the last element of vector C. This is all for this lecture. Please do not forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.